another QB Spotlight video, and today we're going to be talking about new Kentucky quarterback Devin Leary, the transfer quarterback from NC State. And it's been a while since we've done these quarterback breakdowns, these film breakdowns. It's been you know five, six months, but we are back on it. We're going to be doing these consistently, so please follow along for quarterback breakdowns and anything related to the quarterback position. So quarterback Devin Leary, I think it's me personally, it's one of my favorite quarterbacks from the transfer portal. I think he's a great fit for Kentucky. If you look at his career at NC State, he really only had one full year that he you know had a healthy season or, or was able to start the full year last year in 2021 he, he injured his pec uh, I think in game six so it wasn't a huge sample size but the year prior in 2021 he had a great year and he was projected to be potentially a first round pick after this 2022 season if he did not get hurt had 35 touchdowns five five interceptions great TD to interception ratio and pushed the ball downfield well right he I think his yards per tip around that eight eight point run one range but with all that said, I want to take a few minutes and just look at the film from the 2021 season. We're going to look at some clips from the game against Clemson when NC State won. Larry had four touchdowns. I just want to look at four or five clips, right? And it's real easy to to get, you know, it's like infatuated, if you will, with, with his big arm, right? He's got a big, strong arm, can put the ball wherever he wants to, right? Uh, tough in the pocket, takes a lot of hits, and just gets right back up. But to me, the most impressive thing that he does is the little things. Gets the ball out quick, able to decipher the defense, and does not hold on the ball very long, takes what the defense gives you. To me, if you're being a quarterback in the SEC, that's the formula to have some success uh, and to build on top of that. So Kentucky quarterback Devin Lear, the things to watch out for in these clips that we're about to watch is the, his ability to get the ball out quick, not just because he has a quick delivery, which he does, uh, but because he's able to read the defense quickly. I think it's going to fit the offense for Kentucky uh, nicely, especially with this SEC defense that they're facing. So we're going to watch four or five clips, nothing crazy, but just to kind of give you a example of kind of a, more of a deeper breakdown, if you will, than just throwing the ball deep and having a strong arm, which he does. And that's great. It's going to be super helpful, but getting the ball out quick is going to be just as important. So with all that said, let's watch these clips. But before we do, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we put out quarterback content throughout the week and we, we got a QB weekly show that we're doing with App State quarterback Brady McBride and we're going to have quarterbacks on every week, uh, offensive coordinators, just some really high level uh, quarterback minds that are going to be breaking down the position even more. But for this video, we're just going to talk Devin Leary, look at some film that what's going to you know make him a good quarterback in my opinion at Kentucky and then we will wrap this thing up at the end. All right, so here we got 12 personnel, and we're going to see Leary just get the ball out quick on a little speed out route to the receiver on the top of the screen. Uh, we're going to see the, the, the DB kind of drop back into coverage right before the snap of the ball, and you see him kind of get inside leverage of the receiver, maybe throughout the run, but regardless, Leary sees that, sees the corner inside, the ball gets out really quick. One step back, boom, ball comes out quick, right? Nice read there by Leary, but simple right easy read but take what the defense gives you tends to keep the offense on the field let's watch it from this clip real quick sees it ball gets out quick boom ends up being a first down quick uh, rpo play from nc state and leary we're going to see the uh, leary has the option to give the ball to the back he does not the ball comes out really quick nice easy read for leary you can see the receiver just sits down boom it's an easy throw put the db in a in a position to, to lose essentially, right? That DB has to cover either the flat route or the hook route, and the DB chose the flat route. We'll watch it from this angle here. You can just see the ball gets out quickly. Ball is out quick. Nothing crazy there, but plays like that keep drives alive. Here we got another good example, and, and this example here is all about putting the defense in, in a bad position, right? Or, or, or forcing a defender to uh, choose one or two players. Whenever player he chooses, you take the other guy. So we're going to see the safety creep up on the threat of the run here. And then we're going to see this backer get put in a bad position. He's got curl to flats. He chooses the receiver that goes to the flats, and then Lear is able to throw the curl route, this is the short little hook route. Boom, right? The receiver is able to stop down too because he sees the up top corner playing off coverage. Backer goes to the flats, ball comes out quick, great read, able to get upfield for a first down, right? It's a five, six yard throw from the line of scrimmage that ends up being a first down. Again, nothing super sexy, but plays like this as, you know, what are you are getting in Leary. It's not just the ball getting out quick because he has a quick delivery, but it's the good ability to read uh, that allows the ball to get out quick, right? You see the, the safety come up for the run, ball's out quick. Clip will watch up Leary, and I think it's a, it's a good example of this, his ability to have anticipation on his throws right so we're going to see it's the receiver is wide open don't get me wrong but he's wide open partly due to because leary saw it quickly and got the ball out quickly uh, but you're going to see almost like a triangle 
effect here with this hole, right? You see the, the, the corner, the safety going way back, and then the backer inside, right? And so you have safety deep, corner out, backer inside. Leary's throwing the ball right now. If you look at him, the ball is already coming out. He sees that throw. So this is what I mean by not just having a quick release, but being able to read the defense, and that makes his release that much quicker, right? Because the ball is getting out quick. So Yes, there's a hole there, and there's able to be a hole shot there, but it's a great read by Larry. The ball's out quick. Before the receiver even turns around, the ball's already in the air, uh, and that makes a nice big open hole for Larry to deliver the ball. Let's go ahead and watch it. Boom. Gets up field. Let's see. We got to the yep, angle from behind. Watch this here. One, two, three. Hitch up. Good read. Ball's out. Again, so just a few clips, right? Four or five clips we watched. Nothing fancy, no highlight type plays or anything. But you can find all the highlight plays of Devin Leary on YouTube. I want to talk about and break down more of the kind of the, the, the smaller details and the specific type of uh, mindset the quarterback has to keep the offense on the field. Again, to take what the defense gives you and able to get the ball out quickly. Something else that, that our co host, Brady McBride, mentioned in watching the film was his ability to protect his receivers, right? So, especially in the end crossing routes, he's not leading his receivers into traffic. Traffic. He throws a very catchable ball and able to protect his receivers. That's something that probably gets overlooked by, by, by broadcast or overlooked, you know, especially by us fans just watching the game. And so having a quarterback pers perspective mentioned that uh, is, is a unique kind of feature as well. So, again, being able to protect his his receivers, excuse me, is something that will be much appreciated by the guys he's throwing the ball to. But with that said, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Devin Leary? How do you think he's going to do at Kentucky? I think he's definitely going to get back in that kind of first round talk for the 2020, I guess, four uh, NFL draft coming up. I'm not an NFL guy, not an NFL draft guy. I don't know what the hell they look at, uh, but definitely a Devin Leary fan and a Kentucky fan now pulling for Devin Leary. So like the video, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you next time on the next Spotlight.